This is Choi Sokoro, CEO of Making Choices. I have watched, in a way, mentally, not necessarily physically, been engaged in the end bad governance protests that unfolded on August 1st today. Let me go to Pigeon English. <laughs> I relocated to Nigeria two years ago and came in excited. I've been away. I've lived outside the country for close to 30 years. I did not intentionally leave Nigeria, but I've worked in the area of um, human rights and international humanitarian affairs around the world for over over 25 years. And before that, I interned as a journalist in London for two years. So my career has taken me around the world. But I'm a Nigerian fully, so I did my national youth service in Nigeria. So coming back, I was shaken, a day shaken by waiting I see. I see a generation, by that I mean 30s to younger, and many Nigerians, that there was a level of despair, hopelessness. What you see on billboards, advertisements, for how people, they will fee help you. Jackpa, which means help you get out of the country. Getting out of the country became a career path. You don't be career path for this new generation. You get generation where they think, say, half it come out and I be career path. I go ask some people, say, ah, where Thomas or where uh, Agnes? And, oh, you don't go abroad, though. And then I go ask, say, what did they do now? You don't go abroad now. So it was like getting out of Nigeria is not a career path. But I was very concerned. I was concerned as well by the way where corruption doesn't normalize as part of leadership. So when person, you hear say person, thief money from government, you go, they try, go reach out. But I feel it's some of it will reach your hand. It can't be like say, to thief, don't they normalize. Now hustle. That leadership became a hustle for access to national fault. What was most painful as I was researching and preparing to, preparing to come back to Nigeria is this, is this, is this event where pension, Nigerians pension, then Tifa, they stole the pension. Having worked very hard, funds were stolen from people who should retire with the, from the money they've worked hard for. But I was really fixated. I did look this energetic young Nigerians, young young the Nigerian youth. I could ask her, say, what in the Nigeria will help them feed their resilience? Because I looked at, at it as a keg waiting to explode. I said, these people, this cannot continue. Like I tell you the challenges when I face when I already relocate. I come with my picking. Electricity not deep. I get inverter. I didn't manage to go. We get a big generator. I can't explore, you know, we need, we get many sun. We can use the sun to pump our electricity, but nobody they do. I could they ask, I say, why be saying electricity, not the day Nigeria? That will not even take. Even the Wi Fi internet, you will get in the work, not in the work. But as they look the youth, as they look then the worker, I say, <laughs> something will happen. Then I can't see the election. I see the election, they happen. I said, this cannot be real. Then after the election, Immediately, I can't see a bit of the teeth. You know what thing can't shake me. Now, one man, a medical doctor, where they Canada, where he talks, say, if within a year of one political person, where I get political position, they elect them, and being elected in Nigeria comes with quote and unquote, given the level of electoral <laughs> unaccountability. In within a year, he was told that this. Nigerian doctor where they Canada say person, political person. So make he find a third place he won back for Canada. And let me put it succinctly and clearly. The United Kingdom has always been the first port of call for where stolen funds in, in cash and property is, is is just stashed. Yeah, that's UK. The most expensive properties are bought from stolen money. Canada is catching up. Canada is hustling and rushing to catch up. Now, understand something. I worked as a human rights officer, program officer in Canada for eight years after my master's. And I know this for a fact. If you carry cash, go more to where the Coaca dealership you pay. I've not lived in Canada for 
not many years after my, I, I finished my job, I joined the United Nations. If you carry cash, go buy moto. The car dealer will take the money. You go take your car, they go, but they don't tell police, they go investigate you. They go catch you because they go ask you how you get that cash. Now, Canada, no, they ask question. If person won't buy third property in cash, the UK has never asked any question. Now, when we, when we are de demonstrating the end SARS, the, the, the end, sorry, end bad governance in Nigeria, please, let's understand that anybody where thief money, yes, it did fantastically corrupt. But you know what in past fantastically corrupt where former prime minister for you know, for, for, for UK talk now fantastically stupid. It is very stupid for human being. Go chief money from your own people, your own country. Carry and go abroad, go put there. Make that they use build their people up. Now I won't talk up. These people where they chief money so. If you chief money, they don't repair road where they're supposed to repair. Accident happen. One person die. You don't cost your multi-generation. If you thief money, where you're supposed to help education, you, you do carry the money, carry and go abroad. Education poor, useless for Nigerians. You they thief a generation future. You don't swear for your for your future generation. And if you go abroad, go take medical service, say you be leader for Nigeria. You go make Yanga shake your yeye wawa face. Go abroad. That has been happening for many years. Oh, I went abroad for medical treatment. And we are medical treatment. I'm there for a while. Then you hold the future of a country down. You don't swear for your for, 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 for your future generation because it's sins of the father is visited on the children. You don't do. How they go appoint you within a month? You go chief half a billion naira. People are saying, God, everybody, they rush, go on thief. Thief, go carry and go abroad, the thief, 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 they will not be thief. It's filthy, it's ugly. So, are they watch and bad governance for Nigeria? You know, say before it happened, people, they said they're not going to come out, they're not going to come out. Something, they reach final, final area of desperation. Nigerian youth don't tire, and they get right. And I glad say there's no violence. Then do one peacefully, then speak up because you don't reach. The whole of Nigerian youth cannot be poured into Europe and North America. All Nigerians not go come out. You know, say the president of our, our president begin with 650,000 US dollars. They tell Nigerians make them patient. Which can contribute this? I want to stand in solidarity with Gen S, Gen C. The youth of Nigerians, I mean young, those younger than the, the youth, even all Nigerians. I like what I see today. At end, bad governance, it's about time. And I like the fact and I respect those who went on the streets today because there was no violence. Now, I hear strong statements with the military, which I usually support because they have a tough work to do. They would then, then, then talk, whoever said they go stop and stop. And then at the same time, where they, they demonstrate the last few days, there was an IED explosion in Northeast. It killed about 10 people and injured 15. If the military feel express such confidence as they express to stop and watch insecurity in the in the end and bad governance, uh, you know, protests. If they feel one for notice, we'll go jump happy because part of the crisis when Nigeria they faced now lack of security. If security you not know, they make let people go farm, go farm, eat. So make the military to spread themselves around those areas. Make people feed farm, make we feel get food security for Nigeria. Not to go make they shout on people where they protest peacefully. Please, we support the military in Nigeria and we expect that they will go around Nigeria with the same enthusiasm in which they monitor the end and bad governance protests, we expect them to do the same thing and provide security for Nigerians so they can go about life and livelihood. And I won't talk. The, 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 the removal of fuel subsidy could have been managed better. You know, if you enter, the first thing you go talk, you go remove fuel subsidy without a, any cautioning plan or policy to mitigate the impact. This should have been done within a year, at least a year. Now, so you go do You go say, you don't come, I don't come take up this appointment. Fuel subsidy may not be the sustainable solution. So what you go do is say, we go put plans in place in one year. 
we go slowly, gradually, they remove oil subsidy. And it is a disgrace and a shame if this continues that Nigeria will produce crude oil and go and refine it in somewhere like Malta, then bring refined oil back to Nigeria, then we all queue to buy petrol. It's a disgrace and a shame. So, my fist up, y'all. My fist up, y'all. We will end bad governance in Nigeria. And you know what? Why will we do it? The leaders who want to work with us, this is what you do. No go abroad, go get medical services. Get them for Nigeria. If you're not good enough for you, you're not good enough for any Nigerian. If you they collect money from Nigeria, you they thief go pay education for your picking abroad. Yeah. You are dealing with the ancestral spirit of Nigeria. Do they promote which is not good. If now money you work for, honestly, fine. But if you tip any penny where it will not be your own, that's not a problem. Anybody where stand in the way of electricity, availability of electricity in Nigeria, if you import generator, take make money, you they cost your generation to come. Because you know the businesses where they don't die because electricity not there. You know the people where don't die for hospital bed because electricity not there. You go thief money, and you know if you correct education, everybody they thief. This not go thief from that. And I won't talk to fellow Nigerians, my my brothers and sisters. That make me happy for the people where I come out for the end bad governance protest. I I can't go say on one peacefully. I they're so proud to be Nigerian when I see when they talk for straight. We deserve more, and we're ready to stand for more, to demand for more. Make we not let any leader thief, 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 thief. They go like that. And I want to finish by saying, who they take money illegally, be like fly for latrine. You go fat, but you know what you did eat. Make we stop this. We want a great Nigeria, and we will get that by addressing the, la the, the lack of impunity for dirty corruption, from bold corruption that has ruined a generation, stolen the future of a generation. It go stop. Yep. Fist up. Let's end bad governance in Nigeria. Thank you.